It's about time for us to take a quick look at what's happening on the covers of the dailies this morning. Mary is here, and uh, we're going to do what we can to do it justice. Today's Monday, September 23rd, 2024. Uh, I have with me the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, let's start with that. Edo, uh, how Okwebolo uh, floored Igodalo with 44 thousand and twelve votes now the new edo is rising says governor elect and uh, it also says here that um, uh, cso's express concern say coalition disruptions affect result credibility page five has more on that federal government frees six of 1400 end bad governance protesters uh, marketers optimistic of lifting Dangote petrol directly as scarcity persists. And uh, it says here, Tinubu orders crackdown on cyber criminals, transnational car thieves. Page 8 has more on that. Mm -hmm. uh, on Leki, Lagos government, Dangote refinery disagree over parks, call-up system for trucks, and uh, Afer Babalola to federal government allow... Dangote sell petrol at lower rate. And that's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. For me, the, is the battered Joshua part. Okay. And I can't believe he's hinting at a Dubois rematch. Mm. Uh, because, uh, well, according to his um, manager, Eddie Hen, mm. he has a confirmed rematch clause. So there's wow. a, apparently a clause that they could have Already, a rematch. Yeah. But did you see how badly... It was, did you think he reached five rounds, Seth? It was... It was... It was terrible. Oof. My I, goodness. The way he even looked when he landed... It, you know the sad part? Before the match, mm. Joshua had gone on and on... Yeah. Tell him, because the guy, he didn't like the guy's vibes. I guess the guy was maybe, like, disrespecting him. So he kept going on and on about respect. Yeah. And the guy was like, the only thing that can make me respect you is if you beat me. Uh, only for the guy to now beat him in the wow, ring. Wow. It was sad. I, I like Joshua a lot, but my goodness, this one, I felt for him. Yeah. It was, it was, a, it was a decimation. My That's goodness. What they... ah, no, no, no. It was shameful. Wow. Let's move on to the Nigerian Tribune. And the Nigerian Tribune has this. Edo Gibapol, APC's Okwebolo wins... Victorious in 12 LGAs, scores 291,667 votes. Defeats Igodalu with um, 44,383, that's 393 votes. PDB kicks, rejects results in three local governments areas. Uh, warns INEC on threat to democracy by declaring false results in court. Okwebola's victory confirms people's acceptance of APC's ideals. That's coming from the president himself. Now, Tinobu orders crackdown on transnational car thieves, cyber criminals. You can find that story in page 26. Uh, Adama government confirms 12 deaths from cholera outbreak. That story is on page 24. Uh, Manufacturers Association of Nigeria acknowledges government stabilization, uh, stabilization plan. $1 billion intervention pledged by Coca-Cola. That's coming from... Uh, uh, the Nigerian Tribune. You can find that on page six of the newspaper. Up here, there's Nigeria incurs losses as Chinese vessels mm. hijack AFCTA trade. Mm. Mm. And of course, here there's flood, clear canals, drainages, gutters. Federal government alerts Nigerians. Displacement disease loom large in flood hit Borno as government commences fumigation. All of these stories and more you can catch on uh, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper this yeah. morning. Which one is it? For it's you? the flood, the flood one actually. Yeah. Uh, clearing canals, drainages, gutters. It's really the the citizens' uh, responsibility to keep the their own clean. environment yeah. clean. If you do know of your your gutters being blocked. You're being given this warning now, not later when, you know, you, you discover how blocked it could be. You know, there's been a lull in the rains, especially around Lagos. It hasn't been so heavy. It just feels like it's doing on your marks, so, get set and go. I have an issue yeah. with, you know, citizens well, clearing out their gutters. Okay. Because to the best of my knowledge, gutter has to do with, um, you know, that um, water letting uh, pipe just sure. outside your house. Sure, sure. But the moment you're getting to the, the main road, main road yeah. I think it's a public thing. 
Mm. So, so whatever the... happens there, and that's mm. why there's a big problem with littering. I've always had a problem with littering. I don't like people littering. Because then it's no longer, yeah. your, it's now your own personal responsibility. So now the like, issue okay, is communities clean. have taken over yes. things like security, neighborhood watch. Even cleaning their right? gutters as well. Things like uh, even gardening in, if you say small estates, for instance, the gardening, the, the bushes, the trees and things like that around there, communities have taken it up. They've created community groups and associations. And there's a reason for that. All these associations should, in the end, all come together and make sure that the main road leading to all these places mm -hmm. is also clear. So they're the ones that are supposed to write letters to the you know, local governments mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. To, to exactly. So, but the truth is, if, for instance, the local government or the government starts clearing the main roads and the inner roads, the smaller streets are not taken care of mm -hmm. by the citizens it's, themselves. It's the, it's the same thing. Exactly. And, and that's, that brings me back to this uh, public infrastructure thing. Yeah. Why are we seeing gutters? Really, mm. they are supposed to be covered. It's not even safe. Mm. And besides the security part of it, we also have to worry about, you know, the health hazards as sure, well. Sure. Gutters are supposed to be covered. The reason people can dump things into gutters is because they can see it. They are supposed to be covered. In, they um, are. So, so for, for many communities, you know, they've had to put, like, iron grates mm -hmm. um, to block... Uh, All the uh, possible entrance, especially exactly. areas where roads have just been exactly. um, built. So yeah. they still have new gutters, so yeah. they create um, yeah. the it's meshes just... and all. But hey, exactly. let, let's move on to the next newspaper. <laughs> yes, indeed. We have um, the Nation newspaper here. It says here, Okwebolo's hard-won victory returns Edo State to APC fold. Uh, Tinumbu says, uh, victory challenging call to service. Uh, or Paseki PDP cry foul. Now, there is, of course, a list of the results there according to local government area and, of course, the total right at the bottom there. Uh, moving up to the top, uh, DJ Copy makes history as the first British Nigerian to host Unga's opening session. She uh, says she's passionate about quality education for young people. And I, I found that particular speech really interesting, actually a little inspiring as well. Mm. Uh, well, more than a little inspiring, um, because she has come a long way. She's, she's been doing some really interesting things. Her choice of events to attend and places to go, you know, is, has also been of interest to me. And I saw a little clip of the video. She, you know, stood confidently. She spoke so well. It was a really nice... Uh, I'm very sure her father is proud of her. Of I, course, I love her. Of course. Mm. taste for education she mm. loves yeah. education she has at least three master's degrees and then of course she has, she's working on that and then she also has honorary degrees as well quite a number of stuff yeah. so she yeah. is the person to do this in mm. case some people are wondering what has did copy got to do with the united nations general sure, Assembly? sure. It, it is what it is she's educated enough to uh she, she loves books she loves education so hey mm. that speech she's speaking for herself indeed you know, um, there's still quite a few stories here. It says here, um, <clears throat> Shatima off to U.S. for 79th Anga. Uh, it says here, experts project rates retention by MPC. Mm. Uh, federal lawmakers return to firm up council autonomy process. Mm. And uh, one other one, it says here, NDLA intercepts 40, or rather 16.1 billion naira worth of drugs in Lagos. Mm. All right, that's what we have on the cover of. Now, I'll quickly go through the Punch newspaper. And the major headline here is alleges Regan as APC Okpebolo wins. Uh, PDP governors insist candidates won. Obaseki vows to seek redress. Igodalo rejects results. Tinubu congratulates uh, Okpebolo as Apabio Shiomole Shwaibu, APC supporters, uh, jubilate. Here we see APC with 291,667. Okay. And, uh, uh, and then, of course, PDP has yeah. here 247,274. Uh, and then LP with 22,763 votes. Uh, it's uh, also talk, what, right beside the masthead there, why Wabara was denied job slot, according to FCC. A fresh tariff hike looms as monthly power subsidy hits uh, 181 billion naira. On uh, uh, PDP crisis, it says here, Atiku backs anti 
Damagum NWC members. Uh, it says here, NPC may lower interest rate on Tuesday. <clears throat> and uh, one year after, Tinubu yet to appoint ambassadors for 106 embassies. 80-year-old uh, man arrested with cannabis in Lagos. And uh, it says here, DSS frees six hunger protesters to arraign three. That's what we have on the cover of The Punch this morning. That's a number of interesting stories really here. Yeah. However, the one that caught my eye was a fresh tariff hike as a monthly power subsidy hits 181 billion naira. Mm. If power subsidy is completely removed, mm. Mm. Nigerians will pay through their noses, and that's the truth. We think there's um, the issue of, uh, you know, the issue of fuel, fuel on the one hand. Yeah. Power itself is about to show its own. For people who are on band B, C, D, you know what they say about eco enjoyments? Because when yeah. you hit the band A, the, 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 the disparity between A and B right now is huge. Mm -hmm. And by the time they start matching up, yeah. it will not be funny at all. Uh, but then uh, yeah. we, we hope uh, the, the subsidy is held because, man, the pressure will just be too much on Nigerians. Pay for this, pay for that, try as much as possible to survive. It is well.